So Darren, um, big stadium today, big team obviously, Notts County and uh, big occasion, nil nil at half time and then on the wrong end of a 3 nil uh, score line. How, how, would you, how would you see the game as going? And um, I saw the game as, um, I thought we played very well for large spells in, in the first half. I thought we, um, I, I thought our press was excellent, really excellent, but our, some of our quality after that was very good as well. <clears throat> I saw, uh, and I saw second half, a very similar level of um, effort um, and determination. But once we won the ball back, we were really, really poor in that second yeah. half, and we gave the ball away so, so often. And I've been very lucky in my career to work in the, one of the best leagues in the world. When you give the ball away to any team, whatever the level that are, very good at keeping the ball and holding on to possession. If you keep doing that repeatedly, repeat, you never allow, you are never given the opportunity to get higher up the pitch and then try and sustain some sort of attacking threat. And we did that so often. So we'd win the ball back, real desire, good shape, all of that nonsense, and then we'd give the ball straight back. And it just became a, a process and a cycle that we couldn't break. And what that did, that just meant pressure, territory came on us too much, and eventually, you know, we, we conceded the goals. So you were quite encouraged at half time. So th what was the message at half time in there? Look, everyone thinks that football coaching and management is this like magical science. It's not. You, if you defend properly, you attack properly, you normally have a good game. When one of those elements is not at its level, or at the level required for that game, at that moment, whether it be a cup final or a pre-season game, playing Notts County away or altering them at home, if it's not at the right level, it's very hard to sustain any sort of dominance in the fixture. Hmm. And that was us in the second half. And we did get a few chances, but often it, it, it's such tight margins, isn't it? The, was it the quality or a little bit snatched? I mean, I think Padraig Armand had a chance. A little, uh, well, Patter in the first half had a good header, so there were a few moments, weren't there? Yeah, we, we, we had chances. We had chances. We Moss had a 1v1 with the goalkeeper. Mm. Um, Le Patter and Armand had <coughs> both attempts at the back post that so they, they can do better with, but that happens. The uh, good games, tough games, are always settled by goalies and forwards. Always. Mm. And that's why normally when you watch a, some sort of final or some sort of game of magnitude, they're quite boring games, they're quite placid, they're quite cautious. And a forward or a goalkeeper always decides the fate of uh, the outcome of that, uh, of that contest. So, yeah, we had some chances. And looking ahead, we've got Gateshead coming uh, next week. Blink and you miss it. One minute they're in relegation, now they're comfortably mid-table. So, again, each game now is going to be very tight. But it'll be back at Woking, won't it? So, every, in every game's tough. Yeah. I don't know... I'll, I'm not sure really where we're going with this, but every game's tough. Yeah. And it's even harder when you're woken sometimes. Yeah. So you play it to the best of your ability, work as hard as you can, hope that the header at the back post goes in. Hope. And you hope you keep a clean sheet through real determination, desire, discipline, organisation, teamship. There's so many things that are going to winning games. And that's what we'll keep that's what we'll try and do in every game. And when we play Farnborough in pre-season we'll do it then yeah as well yeah so back at home against Gateshead next week be a big crowd again the crowd were brilliant today weren't they amazing good huge number good applause good support and uh, hoping for the same next week at Woking amazing no, they're amazing and um, the, the home attendances lately have been fantastic and we have a duty and a responsibility to try and come out all guns blazing in that in in, in our next home game yeah brilliant thanks for your time Top Darren. Man.